Hi, right. my name is Dennis Breckenridge. I'm from Broadcast Picks, and I wanted to introduce you a little bit to our new iPad uh, application. The iPad application actually is able to control a full video switcher. I can launch it uh, connecting over Wi Fi directly to the switcher, and this is a full switcher application, including control of graphics, uh, clips, everything that we might want to do. And any switch that I do using the, uh, the iPad is actually going to be translated directly into my video switcher and taken to air. So it's a great application of a very nice interface and allowing it to control any type of device, even all the way through a video switcher. We, uh, we also have an iPhone version. It's actually free on the Apple Store. Um, and you can download that, and you can change graphics, clips, memories, anything that you want to do. Uh, so it's another great uh, adjunct to the iPad full control panel. The price point's $199, and it's available now on the store. Hi, it's Taz, back from NAB. So here's another example of what I think is the coolest perspective used for an iPad, which is virtual control service. The idea of taking a very expensive piece of hardware and virtualizing it into a touchscreen version. I mean, switchers, video switchers can cost you tens of thousands of dollars, depending on what kind you get. And here's a software-only version of the same thing. Just put this on your desktop or even walk around the set and you're switching live video from an iPad. Just super cool. I'm expecting we're gonna see a lot more virtual hardware in the near future. And when we do, I'll, I'll tell you all about it. Uh, for Handheld Hollywood, this is Taz. We'll see you next time.